Good day everyone! Welcome to our session for Practical Research 2. This video lesson provides you assistance in accomplishing the task in your learning modules by presenting you the importance of variables as one of the elements of research. So what are you waiting for? Unlock your imagination and creativity. Open your eyes and look at the things around you. Remember that you can change the world by your own simple discovery. At the end of the session, you are expected to understand the nature of variables, determine the importance of different kinds of variables, and classify the different kinds of research variables. So our topic today is about the kinds of variables and their uses. First, what is variable? According to Trinidad 2020, Variable is derived from the verb vary, which means that variables vary from one entity to another. While Barraceros 2016 said that a variable is any factor or property that a researcher measures, controls, and or manipulates. It is also defined as changing qualities and characteristics of persons or things like age, gender, intelligence, ideas, achievements, confidence, and so on that are involved in your research study. Basically, variables are of two kinds. These are independent variables and dependent variables. Independent variables are those that cause change in the subject. Example for this is number of hours spent in using social media. While dependent variables are those that bear or manifest the effects caused by the independent variables. Example for this is students' academic standing. This means that the number of hours that a student spent in using social media can affect their academic standing. For this reason, there is a causal relationship which means the cause comes from the independent variables and the effect comes from the dependent variables. Now, let us discuss the classifications of variables. I am going to discuss four classifications of variables in this video. The first one is numerical variables. Second, categorical variables. Third, experimental variables. And last, non-experimental variables. Let us start with number one, numerical variables. These are variables with the values that describe a measurable numerical quantity and answer the questions how many or how much. These values are considered as quantitative data. An example for numerical variables are continuous variables. These variables can assume any value between a certain set of real numbers. The values depend on the scale used. Continuous variables are also called interval variables. Some examples are time, age, temperature, height, and weight. Another example of numerical variables are discrete variables. These variables can only assume any whole value or number within the limits of the given variables. Some examples are the number of registered cars, number of business locations, number of children in the family, population of students, and total number of faculty members. Let us now discuss the second classification of variables, categorical variables. These are variables with values that describe a quality or characteristic of a data unit like what type or which category. Ordinal variables are under categorical variables. These variables can take a value which can be logically ordered or ranked. Some examples are academic grades such as A, B, or C, clothing size such as small, medium, and large, and measures of attitudes like strongly agree, agree, disagree, or strongly disagree. 
Another type of variables under this classification are the nominal variables. These are variables whose values cannot be organized in a logical sequence. Some examples are business types, eye colors, kinds of religion, various languages, and types of learners. Dichotomous variables are also under this classification. These variables represent only two categories. Some examples are gender, male and female, answer, yes or no, and veracity, true or false. Another example under categorical variables are polycotomous variables. These are variables that have many categories. Some examples are educational attainment, elementary, high school, college, graduate, and postgraduate, and level of performance, excellent, very good, good, satisfactory, or poor. Another classification of variables are experimental variables. Independent, dependent, and extraneous variables are under this classification. Independent variables are usually manipulated in an experiment. Therefore, it is also called manipulated or explanatory variable. Dependent variables are usually affected by the manipulation of the independent variables. They are also called response or predicted variables. While extraneous variables are called mediating or intervening variables. These variables are already existing during the conduct of an experiment and could influence the result of the study. They are also known as covariate variables. Take a look at this example. An experiment on the methods of teaching and language achievement among elementary pupils. The independent variable is methods of teaching. The dependent variable, language achievement. And the extraneous variables are ventilation facilities and physical ambience. Let us now discuss the last classification of variables, non-experimental variables. Under this classification are predictor and criterion variables. Predictor variables change the other variables in a non-experimental study while criterion variables are usually influenced by the predictor variables. Let us consider this research title as an example. Competencies of teachers and students' behavior in selected public schools. The predictor variable here, competencies of teachers. The criterion variable here, students' behavior. So guys, we're done discussing about the classifications of variables and their uses. I hope you learned a lot today. Thank you.